Hey guys, so today I have my February favorites, which is super exciting because it is now March, which is my birthday month. My birthday is the 22nd and I'll be 26. And my last birthday without kids, which is crazy, but I'm excited to meet our little Jocelyn in June. So yeah. Anyway, let's just jump into my favorites so I don't keep blabbering because I am tired and my mind is everywhere. This is my second time trying to film this. I got like halfway through and I'm just not feeling it. I just feel like it's something bad. So anyway, here we go again. First of all, I think I forgot to mention this last month, but I had recently gotten back into my original Naked palette. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing the Naked 3, but I do love my original Naked. I'm sure you've seen it. Um, yeah, love it. Also love my Naked 3. I may have to eventually add the Naked 2 to my collection, but I'm still on the fence. I'm not a huge palette collector because I don't switch it up enough, honestly, and I'm kind of on the fence because I kind of want to try one of the Too Faced semi-sweet palettes. Yeah, I'm not sure right now, so we'll see. Um, then earlier in the month I was loving my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint, like I mentioned last month. I love this for when I don't need, like, as much, I guess when my, when my skin is doing a little better, I love to use this as foundation, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I do need to get another tube soon, it's getting really low, so I'm trying to lay off for a little bit, but yeah, this stuff is expensive. It was $38, and now it's $40. Um, but it does last a long time because you get 1.7 ounces, so, um, do love that stuff. And then, as you know, if you saw my review on this, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, the last few days I've been wearing it with the Youth Code Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher, also by L'Oreal, and it's just the perfect combo. Absolutely love it together. Can't say enough about it love it so yeah if you're having a hard time with this foundation um, because it's settling into pores i would definitely recommend trying it with this primer because it's a really great combo so yeah um then for bronzer i recently went back to my it cosmetics matte bronzer this thing is huge but i am going through it like crazy um yeah it's just the perfect bronzer for me it doesn't break me out or anything so yeah um I love my MAC bronzer, but I'm really not sure if it breaks me out. It might like a tiny bit. I don't know. It's hard to tell, but I don't know. But then for blush, my NYX Blush and Peach. Again, I don't know why it's called Peach, but it's a really pretty matte pink. And NYX blushes are only like $4.99 at Ulta or $5 on their website. At least for now, this does last really, really well on my cheeks. It lasts basically all day, and I just love it. So, yeah perfect blush color and then something I forgot to mention before because it's in, always in my purse if I need to touch up which is usually only like on my lunch break or something when I'm at work all day I'll use this sample of the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Pressed Finishing Powder and it's just a really great translucent powder so yeah I'm really liking it I got this as a free sample at Ulta when I used a gift card to get my summer color in my Tarte foundation so yeah that was a nice surprise and then my skin was going a little crazy like a few weeks ago and so um, I went back to my CCO and got a new bottle of the Clinique liquid facial soap for oily skin um, it's just a really great gentle face wash I use it to remove my makeup at night and this is just my main face wash and my skin has kind of settled down. I don't know. My, my skin is so unpredictable right now. I mean, I'm 25 weeks pregnant. You never know what it's going to do. But um, I think just using some basic things has kind of helped settle it down. So, yeah. do really love this. And it removes, like, all my makeup really well. I mean, not eye makeup. I use a separate eye makeup remover. But, yeah. I wash my face with this. And it works great. And then, because I was breaking out really bad, I kind of went back to using um, 
I use a little bit of this, the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Lotion that has tea tree oil in it. And I use some of this. I use some of this all over. And then I've been using my Bosha Subaki Beauty Oil beauty oil, which I've had this for a while and I don't really know why I got away from it, but I've been really loving it lately because my skin has been extra dry and it's giving that, that hydration that it needs at night and it just, I put it on and my skin just like loves it and just like my skin just glows <laughs> after I put it on, but yeah, I've been really loving this again and yeah, I think it's kind of helped my skin like settle down a little bit and then my very last favorite um i wanted to mention this because i'm running out of my other bottle and then i just opened this one my replacement this is the chi magnified volume conditioner um it is paraben free which is great um i also love the shampoo which i use as well and i just love this because it detangles my hair so well, better than anything else I've ever used. The conditioner is really nice and thick, which I need, um, but it doesn't weigh it down at the same time. So I like to get these when they're on sale at Ulta. And of course it lasts a while, even though I use like a ton of shampoo and conditioner, I go through it like crazy. But yeah, this is a fantastic conditioner. So, that is it for my February favorites. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in a new video pretty soon. I don't know exactly when. Um, I do have another doctor appointment on Tuesday and so I should be doing another uh, pregnancy vlog update kind of soon and I'll have some more baby stuff to show you too. So um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.